Hi everyone. Let us discuss this result. Okay, so in this result, we have a P series summation 1 upon n raised to P where P is greater than or equal to 0. And we have to prove that the P series is convergent for P is greater than 1. And we have to prove that P series is divergent for P less than or equal to 1. Okay, so we are going to prove this result. We will discuss three cases here. First case will be P is equal to 1, next P less than 1 and the last case will be P greater than 1. So let us start with the first case P is equal to 1. Okay, so case number 1, P is equal to 1. Then we have, then we have, then our series will be summation 1 by n only. Since now our P is equal to 1, right? P is equal to 1, that means summation 1 by n. Okay, so you know that to check whether the given series is convergent or divergent, we always use sequence of partial sum. So here also I will consider a sequence of partial sum. Let Sn be a sequence of partial sum. Okay, Sn be a sequence of partial sum. I will call it as Sm. Okay, so what will be its first term? S1, which is all obviously the first round, which is 1. So let me expand this series so you can easily understand. 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4. This is the series we have, right? So S1, that means only first round, which is 1. S2, which is equal to sum of first two terms, 1 plus 1 by 2. Getting? So let us go further. I will consider S4. I will skip here S3, I will directly go for S4. Let us see what will happen. That means sum of first four terms, 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4, right? So obviously, 1 plus 1 by 2, let me write, let me consider, okay, these two terms. Let me show it here. So I'm going to consider these two terms here. Hmm. So 1 by 3 is obviously greater than 1 by 4. So we'll have 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. I should change here sign. Here it should be greater than. Okay. Instead of equality, we should write it is greater than since 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 4. We replace 1 by 3 by 1 by 4. So this type of inequality we will have. Tell me 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4, which is 2 by 4. 2, 2 will get cancelled and we will have 1 by 2. So this is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2. Value of this bracket is 1 by 2. So what we get finally, let me write it here. Okay, so therefore S4, we are getting S4 is greater than 1 plus 1 plus 2 by 2. Getting 1 plus 1, your denominator is same, you can add numerators 2 by 2. Let us go further, now I will consider S8. I skipped S5, S6, S7 directly I am uh, considering S8. S8 will be sum of first 8 terms, so that means I should write 1 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 4, 1 by 5, 1 by 6, 1 by 7, let me write it here, 1 by 7 and 1 by 8, okay. So here also I will form groups here, okay. So 1 by 3, 1 by 4, this is my first bracket and 1 by 5 to 1 by 8, that will be my second bracket. So same type of inequality we are going to bring there, getting. So obviously it is greater than 1 plus 1 by 2. 1 by 3 is greater than 1 by 4, so we can write 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 is greater than 1 by 8. 1 by 6 is also greater than 1 by 8. 1 by 7 is also greater than 1 by 8. So we'll have this type of 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8, 1 by 8. Same inequality is maintained there. Okay. So this is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2. I should write addition here. Huh? Plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4. Denominator is same. You can add numerators. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 by 4. 2 to cancel and we will have 1 by 2. So value of this bracket is 1 by 2. Let us find the value of next bracket. Denominator is same again. You can add numerators. So at numerator 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4. 4 by 8, 4, 4 cancel and we will have 1 by 2. So that means what we are getting here 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 by 2. Getting? So yes, did you notice any pattern here? S4, 4 means square of 2. So that's why we got 2 here. 8, 8 means cube of 2. So I got 3 here. Similarly, let me write similarly, what can we write as 16 will be greater than 1 plus 4 by 2. Getting since 16 means 2 raised to 4. So that's why we'll have 4 there. So in general, in general, what can we write as 
2 raised to m is greater than 1 plus m by 2. I should write equality here since for 2 we are getting equality here. Okay, so I should write it is greater than or equal to. After that, what will I do? I will apply limits on both sides. So therefore, limit m tends to infinity s 2 raised to m greater than or equal to limit m tends to infinity 1 plus m by 2. If you apply this limit, that side uh, will be infinity. So infinity by 2, infinity and plus 1, infinity. So it will go to infinity. What it means, this sequence of partial sum is not convergent. Okay. So s uh, 2 raised to m converges to infinity. So therefore, what can we say? Therefore, s m is divergent series. It's divergent series. Okay. So it's divergent series that means sequence of partial sum is divergent. So therefore we say the corresponding series is also divergent series. What is the series? Summation 1 by n is divergent series. Get it? So that means for p is equal to 1 we get a divergent series. Okay. So the first case is over here. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will go for remaining two cases. So I have written a conclusion there. Okay. So uh, that summation 1 minus divergent series, that means series is divergent, P series is divergent for P is equal to 1. Let us go for the second case, P is less than 1. If P is less than 1, obviously 0 less than 1 minus P. What I have done, I shif simply shifted P on that side. So uh, we had P was positive. So we, we after shifting, it will be have minus sign. Okay. So let us go further. Here we are going to use Cauchy's integral test. To check whether uh, to check whether the series is convergent or not. So consider, you remember what we do in case of Cauchy's integral test. We replace summation by integration, right? We copy the same limits. What we have one to infinity, and we replace n by x. So one upon x raised to p. As integration is there, we supposed to write dx here, okay? And we check whether this value of this integral is finite or not. If it is finite and fixed, then we say the corresponding series is convergent. And if it, it uh, value will be infinity, then we say the series is divergent. So let us solve this integration now. What we do normally, uh, see when we have infinity, we write limit b tends to infinity. So one to b, one upon x raised to p in this way, we write. If you apply after applying limit, we will have infinity here. Okay, it's in proper integral. So that's why uh, we should solve in this way. So let us integrate this one. So this is equal to let me write limit b tends to infinity integration one to b. I'm going to shift this term to numerator. So x raised to minus p we will have dx. This is equal to limit b tends to infinity. Let us integrate. What will be its integration? x raised to minus p plus 1 getting so you know that integration of x raised to n is x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so i'm do, doing the same x raised to minus p plus 1 that means 1 minus p and in denominator also we supposed to write the same 1 to b okay so let us go further so after that after integrating we put upper limit and lower limit so i'm going to do the same so this is equal to limit b tends to infinity right I'm uh, 1 upon uh, 1 minus p, it's c constant, so that's why I've taken it outside. So let us put b there, so b raised to 1 minus p minus, if I put 1 there, 1 raised to anything, we will have 1, so that's why we write 1 here. But see, 1 minus p is greater than 0, already we have mentioned, so that uh, b have, will have some positive power, getting, and if, if you apply the limit, b tends to infinity, uh, see b raised to positive power and b tends to infinity that means value of this uh, this one will be infinity that means value of this limit is infinity getting so what it means this uh, this integral will not have finite value so by Cauchy's integral test we say the series is divergent so let me mention so therefore by Cauchy's integral test let me mention by Cauchy's integral test summation 1 upon n raised to p in running from 1 to infinity is divergent series. It's divergent series for what we have p is less than 1. Okay. So yes, this is our case p is less than 1. That means for p less than 1 we get, uh, we got that summation 1 upon uh, summation 1 upon n raised to p is a divergent series. Let us go for the last case p is greater than 1. So the last case is case number 3 which is p is greater than 1. Okay, so p is greater than 1. So obviously we can write 0 uh, c. 
p minus 1 is greater than 0. So, p minus 1 will be uh, positive real number. Okay. So, here also I am going to use same uh, Cauchy's integral test. So, consider, let me write, consider integration 1 to infinity 1 upon x raised to p dx. So, same scenario we have here, simply the condition is changed that is p is greater than 1. So, we have to solve in the same way. Okay. So, we will solve in the same way and we will reach up to this step. Okay. So, that is why I will directly write. So, this is equal to limit b tends to infinity 1 upon 1 minus p and b raised to 1 minus p minus 1. We will reach up to this step. But the problem is that p minus 1 is greater than 0. So, that is why 1 minus p will be obviously less than 0. So, this is negative power. b has a negative power. So, I will shift b to the denominator. So, limit b tends to infinity 1 upon 1 minus p. So, b has a negative power. Okay. Since p plus 1 is greater than 0. So, I am going to shift at a denominator. So, b raised to what will have? Uh, see, p minus 1 minus 1. So, you know that when we have any term at numerator, if you shift to the denominator, the power or uh, sign of power will change. So, same thing I have done here, right? Okay. So, now b has a positive power since p minus 1 is greater than 0. So, now apply the limit. See what will happen. So, this first term is independent on b. So, it will come outside. When you apply the limit here, b tends to infinity. So, obviously at denominator we will have infinity. But you know that 1 upon infinity is 0. So, that is why we will have 0 minus 1. So, yeah minus 1 because of this minus sign I will change these two terms. So, p minus 1. 1 upon p minus 1. What I want to say it has some fixed value and finite value. Get it? So, this integral has finite value. So, that is why by Cauchy's integral test we say the series is convergent. So, therefore by Cauchy's integral test we say summation n running from 1 to infinity 1 upon n raised to p is convergent series. Okay. For I should mention p is greater than 1. So, in this way we proved that. Okay. The first case was p is equal to 1. In that case, we proved the series is divergent. In second case, we proved that series is divergent for p less than 1. And in third case, we proved that uh, for p greater than 1, the series is convergent. Okay. So, therefore, we can say the series is convergent. P series convergent for p greater than 1 and it is divergent for p less than or equal to 1. So, in this way, we proved this result. So, make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.